Hey everybody, I've been playing around with the uh, new Terminators kit for a while now and one of the things that I built was this librarian, the hive mind librarian and I stuck some old uh, Terminator weapons to it. So this is a Grey Knight Halberd and this is a uh, Storm Bolter from the Dark Angels Knights kit. And I got some questions about whether... Uh, oh yeah, and there's a shoulder pad from the Grey Knights too. So I got some questions about whether the old bits still fit with the uh, the new kit. Which is uh, quite inter interesting to know if you're uh, kit bashing. So what I wanted to do is just stick some other bits to a, uh, the, the body of a uh, new Space Marine Terminator and see whether it fits or not. So this is uh, all the bits that are supposed to go together. This is all new kit. And now let's see what else I can stick to it and whether it will still uh, hold for the proportions of the new miniatures. So there we go. So first try, this is from the Dark Angels kit. And uh, one power fist and a uh, storm bolter. I think these work pretty well. Uh, maybe the shoulder pads. I think the shoulder pads are slightly a bit smaller. So maybe you will still need to switch out the shoulder pads. Yeah. Yeah, I think those look uh, fine actually. You should be able to use these no problem. So if this holds for the, the Deathwing Knights kit, it should also hold for the other. Uh, most of the uh, the Space Marine Terminator kits, so maybe your Blood Angels kit uh, or Space Wolves kit. I don't know. You could try. So I don't have uh, all of those. I mainly have the the Dark Angels one, but I think that uh, this should should be fine for most of them. Uh, so the biggest the biggest change actually is in the legs and the torso. Uh, so if you hold the old legs next to it, so this is the the Deathwing Knights. Uh, legs you'll see that they're both shorter and way thinner so most of the, the rework went in that part and if you uh, take the torso I mean the heads are actually I think almost the same size maybe even sometimes a little bit smaller so the heads are the, the least different the torso is a little bit wider like a bit thicker maybe but not not that much so I think if you have some old torsos you can still switch them out for the legs it's just mainly that you need to throw out all the legs. Uh, same goes for the, the Grey Knights. So the, the poses are more off and the legs are simply thinner. I also have this old librarian and this shows a little bit even better. So if I move the arms, you'll see that it's mainly uh, less wide. So I think for the torso, she should be uh, mostly fine. Alright, so that's the, the old Space Marine kits. The guns also hold up quite nicely actually. It's mainly the, the so this is the old, uh, the old gun. Also. And I think mainly the ammo drum is bigger. Uh, and I have to say that I like the sickle drum better personally. It's probably just a nostalgia, but I think this is a bit too big. Don't like it that much, but the, the guns are completely interchangeable. Also has some old Dark Vengeance bits and they work just fine too. You can just use those, no problem. Uh, and the old, let me see, the Assault Cannon also works nicely. Maybe the Missile Launcher, yeah, why not? Now I also have some uh, chaos bits. So these are from the uh, current Terminator Lord, Chaos Lord. And except for the pose, uh, I mean, these are a bit static. Maybe uh, the size is actually still cool, fine. Uh, I would not be bothered by sticking these to the miniature. Uh, well, this one I would be bothered with because I simply just don't like the arm. But this one, uh, the proportions are not, not too off. It's quite nice actually. It's a nice chain fist. Okay, so the Chaos bits. I don't know, I don't have the new Chaos Terminator, so I can't 
check those. But uh, the, the, the Terminator Lord at least will look fine. And I also have some uh, shoulder pad from the Chaos Lord. That also still works fine. So that's no problem. I think the, the Chaos shoulder pads were a little bit larger than the, the regular Space Marine ones. I don't know why. Okay, that works. Now, the next one is the Grey Knights. Grey Knight weapons definitely still work with the new parts because that's exactly what I did with the Librarian. So this is only the hand. I just uh, uh, glued the, the, the Grey Knight hand to the arm of the, the Chaplain, I think this is. So if you just take a, a new Space Marine Terminator arm and stick the hand of the Grey Knight to it, they, they match up perfectly. Um, and so the arms of the Grey Knights seem to work nice as well. Yeah, they would hold up. So the Grey Knight shoulder pads well, they, of course, they fit the old uh, shoulders. They don't really fit the new ones. And that's mainly because uh, these these uh, bits are here. And they're, uh, they, they uh, for the new shoulder pads, they raise the shoulder pad up a little bit more uh, to get that higher shoulder profile. Um, for the old shoulder pads, because they're simply a little bit smaller, it doesn't work as well. But if you would just stick them on as they are, it's going to be uh, looking a little bit weird. It's also the pose of this arm, of course, but if you see, look at the other arm, you'll see that uh, they'll look a bit strange with those pegs below it. So you'll need, some, uh, you'll need to cut those off to get it to work properly. All right. So, and then we're getting into a little bit weirder territory. I also have the shoulder pads of the... Tartarus Terminators, and I have to say these actually work quite nicely. Again, I would probably have to remove the, the pegs here, but uh, I think you can do some cool stuff with this. Yeah, the profile, the entire profile of the miniature changes a lot, so you probably need to add a like a second folder underneath it or something, just to make it more layered, a little bit like the Cataphracti ones. Uh, but I think you could do some cool stuff with it. I don't know if you could actually make Tartarus Terminators out of this Terminator. That would take quite a lot of work, I would say. So do the old arms fit of the Tartarus? So yeah, they kind of fit, but you really start to run into the problems with the, uh, the plastic Tartarus kit here, simply because the the proportions of the Tartarus kit itself are already a bit off. Uh, I discussed this in one of the other videos I made a, a while ago. With some work, you might may you might be able to make it work, but it's not gonna be uh, a quick a quick swap. Cataphracti, and I have to say that this works way better than I had expected it would. I mean, this already goes quite a long way into making some uh, some new skill cataphracti. The, the arms may be a bit short, but I'm not too bothered by that, actually. I mean, this pointing arm or that pointing arm, it's quite close. Close enough, maybe, probably. It's maybe the width of the, the fist, that's the biggest difference. So this works uh, quite nicely and I'll uh, maybe make a new project out of this. So can I switch out the guns? Yes, I can. I think all the guns fit actually quite nicely. This is the gun from the Cataphracti I Terminators. So uh, swapping that out is no problem at all. And the gun for the Tartaros also works. Maybe a bit small, the uh, standard issue bolt gun for the ter uh, old Terminators fits very nicely as well. Just like, of course, the new one, which is coming from the kit. Because I also did some half swaps. 
Uh, I mean, most Space Marine heads will fit in there quite nicely. This is an Iron Hands kit uh, head without a helmet. That uh, fits no problem. Um, also the helmet of the Tartros. Also fits. The other helmet styles seem to look a little bit more small. A little bit smallish compared to the Terminator one. So if you put the Terminator helmet in there. And that's mainly I think because it's sticking out uh, out of the armor. And if you use another helmet it will fall into the, uh, the body a little bit more. So for some reason it seems to go be a bit smaller then. Uh, but they will fit, no problem. And the main thing that you need to do so space marine heads usually come with this, uh, like the neck. And if you want to fit it in, so if you try to fit it in with that neck, it's gonna be, look very weird. It's mainly not even going to fit. But if you just take a sharp knife, remove it. Then it will actually fit without any problem. And what I could also try is like the helmet of the Grey Knights. I haven't tried that yet, but let's see. Ooh, yeah. Perfect, I would say. Yeah, you could do some cool conversions with it. Nice. All right. Yeah. That would be uh, quite a cool Dark Angel, I would say. Nice. Yeah, so I hope uh, that answered your questions. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.